What is going on guys? It's your boy Trent back with a video. Today we're going to talk about the Ole Miss Rebels playing the Fighter Gators this Wednesday night, 4 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Eastern on the SEC Network. So Florida will be the away team in this matchup. Florida 9-3 on the season, coached by Mike White. Going up against the Ole Miss Rebels 8-4 on the season, coached by Kermit Davis. So each team also has a top 25 win on the season. Um, Florida beat number 20th ranked Florida State 71 to 55. Ole Miss beat number 18th ranked Memphis 67 to 63. So Florida, three losses on the season are from Oklahoma, Texas Southern, and Maryland. Ole Miss is four losses on the season are from Marquette, Boise State, Western Kentucky, and Sanford. Now talking about team stats and kind of compare both teams here. So Florida averaging 74 points per game, Ole Miss 70.4 points per game. Field goal percentage, Florida shooting 43% on the season, Ole Miss 42.8. From the three-point line, Florida 31.2, Ole Miss 30.5. Free throw line, Ole Miss, I mean, I fought my bad, Florida. From the free throw line, Florida is 72.8. Ole Miss, 69.2. Rebounds per game, Florida, 37.3. Ole Miss, 37.4. Point one of a difference there. Assists per game, Florida, 15.7. Ole Miss, 14.3. Turnovers, Florida averaging 13 turnovers a game. Ole Miss, 11.5. Steals per game, Florida, 9.9. .9. Ole Miss, 7.8. Blocks per game, Florida 5.7, Ole Miss 3.1. So now I'll talk about a couple of players to watch out for in this matchup. So first guy you think of for the Florida Gators is number 12, Ford Colin Castleton. If you don't know who he is, the dude can ball. He's pretty good. So Castleton averaging 14.8 points per game, 9.3 rebounds, 1.8 assists. 0.8 of a steal, 2.5 blocks per game, shooting 51.2% on the season. Nets, number 24, guard, Verwanda Swimman Jr., 11.8 uh, points per game, 3.6 rebounds, 1.6 assist, 1.3 steal, point of a block, shooting 43.3% uh, field goal percent. Uh, the, from the free throw line, 80.9. And the three-point line, 37.8. Nets, guard, number 22, Tyree Appleby, averaging 10 points a game, 2.1 rebounds, 3.1 assists, 1.6 steals, 0.1 of a block, shooting 37.4%. From the free throw line, 89.2. It's pretty good. And the three-point line, 32.2. Nets, number zero, guard, Maureen Jones, averaging nine and a half points per game, 3.5 rebounds, 2.1 assists, steals, 1.6, block, 0.1, uh, field goal percentage, 36.9, free throw line, 83.3, three-point line, 30.2. Nets, number four, Ford, Anthony, Let's see how you pronounce that. Durari? Close enough. Uh, points per game, 9.1. 4.2 rebounds per game. 1.2 assists. 1.2 steal. 0.7 of a block. Field goal percentage, 56.9. Uh, uh, free throws, 75%. Three-pointer, 42.9. So now I'm talking about the Ole Miss Rebels. When you think of Ole Miss... First guy that comes to mind this year is number 24, guard, Jarkel Jorner. He's also averaging 14.8 points per game, just like Castleton is. Rebounds, 3.5, assists, 3, steals, 1.3, blocks, uh, 0. Field goal percentage, 41.8. Free throw, 84.6. Three-point. 35.5. Next, number two, guard, Deshaun Ruffin. Ruffin is a true freshman. Has missed a little time this year, but Ruffin, McDonald's All-American, ranked pretty high of high school. 
Uh, Ruffin is definitely the future for Ole Miss basketball, but this year, as a true freshman, doing pretty good. Averaging 13 points per game, rebounds 0.5, assists 2.5, steals 1.8, blocks 0.3 per game, field goal percentage 40.5, free throw 70.8, three-pointer 8.3, nets number three, center Nasir Brooks 8.9 points per game, rebounds 7.8, assists 0.8 steals, 0.8 blocks, 0.9. Uh, field goal percentage is 61.4. Free throw line, 68.6. Uh, net is Ford, number four. Jermaine Brakefield, he's a transfer from Duke. Points per game, 8.8. 4.3 rebounds, assists, 0.4. Steals, 0.9. Blocks, 0.4. Field goal percentage, 44.8. Free throw, 73.7, and a three-pointer, 40% on the season. Net forward, well, this is our small forward. Number 15, Luis Rodriguez, 7.3 points per game, 4.6 rebounds, 1.7 assists, 1.5 steal, 0.3 per block, field goal percentage, 38.1, free throw, 55%, three-pointer, 31% on the season. So now, final thoughts on this game. Score prediction. I do have Florida winning this matchup just the past couple weeks. This Ole Miss has not played good. We've been kind of struggling. Uh, just kind of making some stupid decisions, really, what it all comes down to, in my opinion. Just not playing smart. Just not, just not using just common sense. But I do have Florida winning this matchup. I do think Florida will get the over 74 points in this matchup. Ole Miss is averaging 70.4. I don't think Ole Miss will get the over in the points. So in this matchup, I'm going with the Gators, 77, Ole Miss, 68. So you have the Gators winning this one by a little bit in this matchup. But if you're an Ole Miss fan watching this, if you're a Florida fan watching this, for to hear y'all's thoughts and feedback on this as well. Uh, but that is all I have for the video. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Howdy toddy.